I knew it from a very young age, that's where I want to be. The Olympics is just amazing to go to as a whole, but obviously it's taken me about four years to do so, so I'm so happy to finally have made that progression. Getting to this point takes determination, lots of training and the best technology. There's a piece of equipment that all swimmers have that's tightly regulated and designers are constantly trying to improve their swimsuit. On the face of it, some costumes haven't really changed much over the years, but at the elite level, these are highly engineered bits of tech, costing hundreds of pounds. So typically, on Olympic cycles is how we work, um, and we will have uh, a revolution of a suit technology at the Olympic Games, something which is uh, hopefully groundbreaking uh, and moves the goalposts uh, a little bit higher. But how far designers can push the innovation is dictated by the sports governing body. They limit what materials can be used or how and where seams might be placed. But that doesn't stop companies pushing the boundaries and there are a handful competing to produce the best suits for this elite level. Please step up. Athletes will try out several different ones to decide what they want to race in. And today, Hane Oshrin is trying the latest suit from Arena. It includes a new innovation in material, designed to give the swimmer compression to help them be more streamlined in the water, but with flexibility to make it easier to put on. So if you look at this suit, you'll see there's two different textures of fabric. They both have the TPU Hyperforce fabric in them, but one is smooth and one has got channels in it. We know from the research, we know where uh, water needs to be channeled because vortexes, vortices are created because of, the, of the, the form of the body. So we need to get the water away as soon as we can from those areas. And that's why we have these channels in certain parts of the suit. How does it feel? Yeah, so usually it takes, so with the suit, um, arena suits that I've tried on before, they take longer. I would say like with a new suit it takes about 10 minutes but this one took two minutes to get on. How important is the compression to you? Yeah really important so I I find that the more compressive it is I feel more buoyant in the water. The best way for Honey to try out this suit is in the water and we can use cameras to see how it's performing. Honey is wearing the costume for the first time, yeah. swimming up and down. What can you see by using this analysis about the costume? So as you can see around the suit here, there's minimal kind of bubbles created or air pockets. Um, so that's because the suit's compressing the body into a more streamlined position and allowing the water to flow more easily across the surface of, uh, of Honey's body. So if she was wearing just a box standard off the shelf yeah. suit, so we would expect a lot more bubbles. Yeah, so the fabric could absorb more water, uh, the fabric wouldn't compress as much as what the uh, racing suits do, so you'd end up with more bubbles that are created around the, the body as she moves through the water. And if the fabric was absorbing too much water? Yeah, that pulls you down, pull so the hips down. start to go lower, so as you're going through a race, you fatigue more, so that then again makes it more difficult for you to maintain the speed and technique and actually move through the water fast at the back end of the race, especially by the 200 backstroke that Honey swims as a main event. But there's only so much a coach's eye can see. The real decider is how it feels in the water. Hello. Hello. How does it feel? Yeah, really good. So, like I was saying before, I think I got the suit on in about two minutes and usually it takes me about 10 minutes with a new suit. So I thought, how's it going to feel in the water? But as soon as I got in, it's sort of all compressed. And again, I felt really, really buoyant. So that's really important to me. How many tests of a suit will you do before you actually decide? Yeah, so I'll, I'll probably want to do like one or two, um, one or two run through. So I'll do something called like stand up swims where so I, I do 200 back. So I'll come in, put the suit on again um, and just swim the race how I normally do just in a training environment um, and see how, how that feels. 
Well, good luck in the Olympics and wish you luck you keep training. Thank you so much. So, which suit will Honey pick in the end? We'll have to wait until race day to find out.